Hi everybody, my name is Richard Squires. I'm the owner of Life Story. Every life is a story, let me write yours. It is my passion to meet people, to talk with them, and to hear the stories of their lives, and to write those stories down in a book that makes a legacy that a family will cherish for generations to come. Many people have dreamed of writing down their stories, but they have trouble putting pen to paper. That's where I come in. Today I wanted to share with you a unique story that takes place uh, in a memoir that I wrote for Larry and Mallory. The name of the memoir is Adventures Abroad, 15 Years in the Foreign Service, 1965 to 1980. Larry served in the United States Foreign Service for 15 years. And during that time, he and his wife and their children, as they were growing up, were stationed in a number of very interesting locations all around the world. The story I'm going to tell you about today takes place in September of 1969 when Larry was stationed in Tripoli, which is the capital of Libya in northern Africa. One beautiful afternoon, Larry and Mallory decided that they and their young daughter were going to drive out to the Sahara Desert for a picnic. So they hopped into their Volkswagen camper, and on the way out of the city, what passed them coming into the city but a long caravan of military vehicles, which Mallory found puzzling and worrisome. As you can imagine, they decided to cancel the picnic. They turned around they came back to their apartment. Well, in the middle of the night, they were awoken by loud sounds, little pops and blasts across the city. And Mallory woke up and she said, Larry, it sounds like a wedding. And Larry said, that's not a wedding. Those are gunshots. Well, they figured out very quickly who those military vehicles had belonged to, Gaddafi. And the gunshots were the sound of his coup d'etat. So when Larry and Mallory woke up in the morning, it was to a new regime. Libya now had a new leader. And everyone was quarantined in their homes. They weren't allowed to leave. Except Larry, because he was a diplomat, was allowed to walk to the embassy. He had certain passes that he would show. On every corner, he had to show these passes to a young soldier with a gun. And Larry was a little bit nervous because he didn't speak the language or read the language that were on the passes, so he was never sure he was show showing them the right one. But it did all work out, and he made it to the embassy. But 1969, it's not so recent, yet the story is so applicable to today. Because during this unprecedented time, when we're quarantined in our homes, what an opportunity to start writing down your thoughts and your memories. I find writing to be therapeutic and a great vehicle for helping people. If you're considering writing your memoir and you don't know where to begin, please contact me. My email is richard at lifestorymemoir.com. I will guide you and create a memoir that you will be thrilled to read and to share with your family and your friends. Now, all this talk of Tripoli has got me thinking about a certain song that I'm familiar with, the Marines Hymn. And when I start thinking about a song, it kind of makes me want to strum my guitar. And sometimes also sing along. So here's my version of a Marines, the Marines hymn. From the halls of Montezuma to the shores of Tripoli, we fired our country's battles in the air on land and sea. First to fight for right and freedom, and to keep our honor clean. We are proud to claim the title of United States Marine. Our flags unfurled to every breeze from dawn to setting sun. We have fought in every climb and place where we could take a gun. In the snow of far off northern lands and in sunny tropic scenes, you will always find us Here's health to you and to our core, which we are proud to serve. In many a strife we fought for life and never lost our nerve. If the army and the navy ever look on heaven's scenes, they will find the streets are guarded by United States Marines. They will find the streets are guarded
you, everybody. Every life is a story. Let me write yours. You can reach me at richard at lifestorymemoir.com. Please, everyone, stay safe, stay healthy. I hope to talk to you again soon.